This is what happens when you bring an animal style of kung fu to Russia and it has vodka. Look at these stiff animal-like moves. He's like a combination of snake and mantis. All right. Oh, look at that. Now it, it's tiger, I assume. Vodka tiger. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Another demonstration of this move. What are you using? Your forearm? <laughs> All right, so sticking with the Russian theme, we have a Russian guy here. He's getting warmed up. What is he going to teach? Let's see. Oh, Russian dance fighting. Whoa, Russian step dancing. Look at this. I am going to be able to destroy people with the step dance moves. Now it's Russian drunken boxing. Again, the point of Kung Fu in drunken boxing, for those of you who don't know, you're not actually drunk. You're faking the looseness of drunk people. But I think Russians took it literally and they're actually drunk in this. You're not supposed to actually drink vodka when you fight, okay? This... <laughs> okay, people say I pick on... Russians too much, so look at this Chinese bullshit, or Singaporean or Vietnamese bullshit. This is some Asian bullshit. He's gonna transfer chi to the guy with glasses, all right? Let's see if he can do it. And here we go. Yeah, look at that bullshit right there. And now, oh wow, look at that bullshit. The guy on the right's cracking up like, oh yeah, I know I'm in, I paid a lot of money. Ooh, fly like a little rag doll. Fly like a little rag doll again. Look at him, he's just cracking up. He's like, oh yeah, I I'm a good actor right here. And now, our drunken vodka guy is back. Look at him, showing off his snake mantis moves. If I'm fighting a kid, I guess that would work. Your arms, of course, serve as nothing more than just distractions. You distract them with these flailing mantis arms while you use these low kicks. Bam! Look at that! I mean, I guess it's effective. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty distracted by his arms. I'm not paying attention to how exposed he is. So now this guy, he's got some chi. Look at him. Obviously, that's cool. fake concrete. To be honest, so, I actually felt these bricks. These are real bricks. I mean, there's there's no don't. Oh, 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 the reporter just oh, accidentally oh, revealed his secret. Oh, no. Gun. How the hell did you do that? Oh, caught red handed this fucking okay, fake okay, kung okay, fu okay, master. Okay, okay. <laughs> so these are black belts. I don't know where they got their black belt. That looks like Japanese in the back. So. Those were some Kamehameha moves. And now, this is another Kung Fu, not Kung Fu, so I don't know what this is, but... I like how none of the students can do it together. And of course, some of them have black belts too. So... I guess this is the YMCA McDojo. Because if you look in the background, it looks like a high school gym or something, or the local... YMCA or something. What does YMCA stand for, by the way? How do they all have black belts? That's what I always wonder. But this clip and the clip before. Samantha is going to try for her first time to actually knock me out using just the sound and the energy projection. Just listening to the sound of his voice and how tired he is just from talking makes me want to just knock myself out. <laughs> This is, this is just another level of bullshit. The previous types of bullshit, at least they touched. This one, it wasn't, there was no touch even. And of course he has to pretend like he's actually knocked out. They have to resuscitate him. Hit him in the neck, huh? That's how you resuscitate someone? What, um, what school of sports medicine is that? And now he has trouble getting up. Not because of any chi, but because he's fat. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this is too much, guys. Yeah. 